The scene for today's game is Jackson, Mississippi. And despite the news that came out earlier this week about Kevin Scott and Roddy Watts, they will be playing today. But head coach Joseph Cooley had to keep in the back of his head that he had to do something to discipline this team in the future. Today's game, there's a lot at stake, and we cannot lose now. I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. A mild, clear day is what we'll have for the Alabama State Hornets and the Tigers of Jackson State. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this college football season as we continue to bring all the excitement with this game. And here come the Tigers. The Tigers look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? Alabama State is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. You're absolutely right. I'm going with the Hornets. This one's almost underway, so we're about to find out real quick just how smart of a pick that was, Coach. On the gun. Nothing else matters at this point. Silva. It's all about beating Jackson State. And on the first play of the game, look at Josh Six picking off the pass and the Alabama State Hornet defense already striking first. What a play there by our true freshman free safety. Now we have the ball and there goes the man all the way from VA on our first play of the game getting tackled at the five. So we're going to go ahead and give it back to him again and then he gets tackled inside the five or at the two. Third and goal, we give it back to him again. Look at the power. Look at the strength. He can't be stopped. Touchdown, Alabama State. The Hornet strike first. We're back on defense. Jackson State has the ball at their 48 and that should have been picked off by Blake Robbins. So here we go again. There goes Silva. This time he disrupted as he gets ready to pass. Third and 10 at the 48. Silva once again. This time he has all day to pass. He's looking deep. And the pass is incomplete. Great play there by Josh Sis. We got the ball back. This time we find Kevin Scott on the screen pass. He doesn't get much, but it's a gain of six. Before we continue, though, let's meet the impact players for Jackson State. They have two impact players at quarterback. Mitchell is injured, but there goes Brian Silva. He'll be taking over the day for the quarterback spot. And then there goes David Gore, their love outside linebacker, 6'3", 223 pounds, true sophomore. Back to the game. Bobby Newton with all day to pass. He's looking deep for Kevin Scott, and that pass was dropped. Great play there by the cornerback. Third and four, we give it back to Chambers, and he gets nowhere. So we're going to go forward on fourth and four. We're going to the OP halfback, the rate. The man all the way from VA gets to the 40-yard line. First and ten for the Hornets. First and ten, there goes Chambers again. This time, he's feeling it. He's in impact player mode as you see him post There goes Newton again, looking for Jason White, and he hauls in the pass, and he's tackled near the 15-yard line. He took a hit there pretty badly, too, but he's getting up. He's all right, people. He's all right. We're in the red zone. Screen pass again to Kevin Scott. He's going to the left side. Impact play a moment. Goes up past the 10, and then he's finally taken down around the 7. So we got second and one. Newton looking for White in the end zone. Money. Touchdown, Alabama State. 14 to nothing. Just like that. Seven yards out. Bobby Newton fires Jason White. The Hornet offense is on it, as well as the defense. Speaking of defense, look at Lawrence Martin again, the sack right there. Second and six, Silva with all day to pass. He's looking deep for Coley, and that is incomplete. Great play there by Jason Moore. Third and 16, though. Silva once again looking deep, and that pass is overthrown. And that's how the first quarter comes to an end. It's 14 to nothing, Alabama State. We got the second quarter. We're at our 47. It's another screen pass to Kevin Scott. He tried to make a man miss, but he gets tackled. Second and five. Here we go on the screen pass to Justin Chambers, and we go nowhere. So then we got 35. We're giving it back to the man all the way from VA on the handoff. He gets tackled inside the 25-yard line. First and 10 at the 23. Newton with all there to pass. And that pass is dropped by our true freshman wide receiver, Tim Brown. 
Second and ten. Chambers makes a man miss. Look at the stiff arm. Look at the power. Chambers is no doubt the best running back in the country. In the red zone now. First and ten. Newton. All day to pass. And this time he sacked. Ose sacked him. So second and 19. We go back to our best player. He making a man miss. And he cruises into the end zone. For his second touchdown of the game. And another touchdown for Alabama State. We 21 skunk Jackson State. But there goes Coley. He's tackled at the Jackson State 45 yard line. And now they're at the 45. First and 10. Silver. Hands it off the price. Tries to do a spin move, but then he got blasted. Second and seven at the 48. Silver. All did a pass yet again. This time he's looking deep for Coley. And Coley makes the catch. Touchdown, Jackson State. He made that catch on three defenders. We've seen this before. Last season with Alabama AM. So it's 21 to 7. Newton. He's looking deep for Tim Brown. He makes the catch in the middle of the field. First and 10 once again. This Hornet offense is on it, though, despite that big play by Jackson State. Here we go with the screen pass yet again. There goes Kevin Scott making a man miss, and he's off to the races, and he's gone. Touchdown, Alabama State. It's 28 to 7. Even though Kevin Scott is cheating on exams, he's a beast on the football field. But please believe the Hornet faithful are not happy about Joseph Cooley's decision to make him play. So we're at 37. Jackson State has the ball once again. And Silver's looking deep for Coley again. And he makes the catch on Jason Moore. What a play on the first play on the ensuing drive. Silver once again finding Coley for another deep touchdown pass. It's 28 to 14 now. And now we're back on offense, and we give it to our two-way superstar, Kyle Gray, up the left side for another first down. Next play, we go back to Chambers, and the man all the way from VA gets tackled for a two-yard loss. So we go back to him again. This time, he gets those two yards back and more. First and 10 for the Hornets, and then we tack on some more yards as we're going to get a face mask penalty on Jackson State, but that's just five yards. First and 10 at the 43. Chambers gets popped. And Jackson State recover the fumble. And they're at our 46. Well, at their own 46. So here goes Silva again. Look at D. Jenkins is all by himself. He does a spin move on Jason Moore. And Colin Robinson can't catch up to him. Touchdown, Jackson State. It's 28 to 21. We was up 21 to nothing at one point. And now Jackson State are right back in the game. 52 seconds left in the first half. Kevin Scott takes the ball, goes up the left side. 30, 40, 50 in the Jackson State territory. And he gets tackled at the 35. Great return there by Kevin Scott. The best return he's had since he's been here. That goes to hand off the Chambers. Can he redeem himself? Look at that. All he had to do was go out to the right side and he could have scored. First and 10 at the 21. We're going to try the screen pass again. Newton felt the pressure. Second and 10. 21 yard line. Newton. All day to pass. Looking for Kevin Scott. He makes the catch. We're inside the 10 once again. At the 5 yard line. As time expires. Chambers gets popped. And that's how the first half ends. Damn, what a hit there by the linebacker. He got popped on that play. We're up 28-21. Man, what a first half. We should be up by much, much more. Third quarter, though. Half back the red. The man all the way from VA gets inside the 40-yard line for a first down. First and 10 at the 42. This time we hit, try to get the ball to Kenny Gaston, but we get another face mask penalty on Jackson State. It's another five-yard penalty. We get first and five. We find Kevin Scott on the screen pass. He tries to make a man miss again. He should have kept going up the left side. First and 10 at the 44. Newton under pressure, and he's set. There goes Gore, their impact linebacker. Justin Chambers once again. Runs a man on the halfback to Rick. Makes another man miss. The man all the way from VA gets inside the 10, and he's tackled at the eight. What a play by Justin Chambers.
The Dope Walk Award is no doubt his we'll to lose. We're going to give Justin Chambers a rest. We got Kenny Gaston in the game. It's a play action. Under some pressure, he passes in the end zone, but it's deflected away. Great play there by Jackson State. This time we got Chambers back in the game and we give it to him. But he doesn't get anywhere. So it's third and goal at the seven. Play action once again. Newton's under pressure and he's sacked again. That's the third time that they that Bobby Newton's been sacked. So we're going to settle for the three points. The kick is up and then the kick is good. It's 31 to 21. The lead is 10. Jackson stays back on offense. There goes the hand off the price. He goes up the left side. It's a foot race. Price is to the 30, Price is to the 10, he's gone! Touchdown Jackson State! What a run by Price! What a run! Our run defense is still suspect. He was able to turn the corner and nobody could catch him. So we're facing the 39, and the man all the way from VA does his heroics, and we get the first down. So the next play, we give it to our fullback. This time he secures that first down. First and 10, another screen pass to Scott. This time Jackson State has that figured out. So second and 13, we run the screen pass on the other side to Jason White. And he's close to the first down marker, but we need just a few more yards on third and three. Chambers breaks a tackle, then gets past the first down marker, and we're cooking. First and 10 at the 44. There goes Kenny Gaston up the gut. Gets tackled around, looks like the 50. At midfield, there goes Newton. Stepping back, tries to pop it, but then he's hit. So here we go again. Newton looking up the middle. And that's incomplete. That was deflected by the linebacker. Fourth and four, though. Option will have back the wreck. And the man all the way from VA comes through again. Another first and ten for the Hornets. This time Newton does a play action. And he's looking deep for Kevin Scott. And he makes the catch in the end zone. Big play there for the Hornets. Touchdown Alabama State. Another play, big play by Kevin Scott. His second touchdown catch of the game. And the third touchdown pass for Bobby Newton. We're up 38-28. Silver stepping back to pass. Looking deep. And Cauley, no, that's Allen making the catch. Can Jason Moore take him down? He finally takes it down at the two-yard line. What a play there by Allen. He beat Jason Moore. Jason Moore is having a bad game today. A horrible game, as a matter of fact. This is like his third time getting beat today. The third quarter comes to an end. We're still up 10, but Jackson State is threatening. At the one-yard line, they step back to pass. Silva steps out and pops it, and Jason Moore picks it off in the end zone. What a play by Jason Moore. After a bad game, he needs to come down, though. He's trying to get us 15 yards. But Jason Moore, nevertheless, a bit play there by the sophomore. What a play by Jason Moore. The Hornets are back on offense and at the one-yard line. We give it to Chambers, and he runs into a wall. Second and nine, though. We're giving it back to Chambers again. This time, Gore, the impact linebacker, makes a stop. On 36, we try another screen pass. Kevin Scott breaks a tackle, but he can't get through those two defenders. So we get the ball back to Jackson State. We're going to play it smart. And on second and 10, Price is trying to make something happen, but Scott McFarlane takes him down. Third and 10, though. Look at this play. High psych incomplete. So fourth and 10, here comes Jackson State. Silver stepping back to pass. He tries to run. Blake Cox strips him, and Blake Rollins picks it up. The Hornet defense comes through again. Up another big play by the Hornet defense. The third turnover of the game. So here we go, Newton stepping back, popping it, and that's incomplete. Second and 10 though, Kenny Gaston, nothing. So now we got third down, we're two for seven on third down. Haven't really looked good on third down all game. Newton stepping back to pass, he fires it to Jason White and he makes a big catch. The drive is still alive, so here goes Newton again. He's popping it for Kevin Scott again, and he makes another big catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. The third touchdown of the game for Kevin Scott. What a play. Silver takes off again, breaks a tackle, and then he's finally taken down by Lawrence Morton. We're up 45-28.
Silver once again steps back to pass. It's intercepted by Black Rollins. We're going the other way. He's tackled at the 10. The Jackson State faithful have had enough. They don't believe anymore. They're gone. Here we go. Kenny Gaston going up the left side. Taken down at the one. So here we go. Second to go. We give it to him again. And he gets taken down again at the one yard line. So we got Chambers back in the game. This time, no. Chambers can't get in there. So fourth and goal. We do a toss play. This time he can't be denied. Touchdown, Alabama State. 52 to 28. Fourth quarter heroics. And we're going to get out of here with a W. But there goes Silver once again. This time he got popped. I don't know who that was, though. So here goes Jackson State on fourth down. Silver looks for a pass, and that's incomplete. And more fans are going out the stadium. So here we go again. There goes Newton. Stepping back to pass. Finding Tim Brown, who's tackled just inside the 10-yard line. A big play there. First and goal once again. Chambers. Touchdown. Alabama State. That's touchdown run number five for Justin Chambers. Another day in the office for this Hornet football team. And we're going to get out of here with a 59-28 victory and winners of eight straight games. The Hornets are on fire. We can't be stopped. Long before Coach Prime was at Jackson State, the Alabama State Hornets are straight dominating in the swag. Look at that. We're not even celebrating this victory. That's exactly what I want to see. We're respected to win these games now. Let's take a look at the stats. Bobby Newton had a great game. Didn't turn the ball over. Four touchdowns. The only issue was he got sacked five times. Justin Chambers, 230 yards on 26 carries. I said he had five touchdowns. He has four. And he had 96 yards at the first contact, man. The dude is no doubt the best running back in the country. Kevin Scott was on fire today, catching everything. 11 catches for over 200 yards. Our uh, offensive line wasn't bad, but once again, they gave up five sacks, so we got to work on that. The defense, though, coming through in the clutch. Jason Moore picked the pass off in the end zone. Josh Sis picked off the first pass on the first play of the game. And Blake Rollins, my goodness. What a game for the Hornets. Thank you for watching. Peace.